Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. We are from group 3. Our group contain of six members. Start with me, Arif Iqbal bin Anizam. Second, we have Najwa Habin Tikamaruddin. Anas Fathi bin Mak Yunus. Muhammad Amar bin Nurzan. Next, we have Nur Alawiyah bin Ki Muhammad Yassin. And last but not least is Muhammad Alim bin Muhammad Arifin. We are presenting characterizing network infrastructure and traffic from subject network analysis and design. We are a group of six. So for this network infrastructure and traffic observing, we have six different subjects. First is my data of internet connections. I am using Wi-Fi with internet capacity of 100 MB. My ping is 13 MS, download speed of 31.50 and upload speed of 24.86 Mbps. I am currently staying in a hostel in Niza, Kepulis Next. For second member is Nasuha binti Kamarudin. She's using Wi-Fi internet wireless connections with internet capacity of 130 MB. She's got 12 MS ping, download speed of 43.70 and upload speed of 40.07 Mbps. She's staying in hostel in Niza, Kepulis Kusut. For our third member is Anas Fathi bin Mat Yunus. He is using wireless connection which is Wi-Fi with internet capacity of 30 MB. He got 10 MS of ping, download speed of 26.75 and upload speed of 10.72 Mbps. He is staying in his home at Pontian Johor. Next is Muhammad Amar bin Norzan. He is using Wi-Fi with internet capacity of 100 MB. He got 11 MS of ping, download speed of 205.05 and upload speed of 115.49. He is staying in hostel in Niza Campus Kusut. For our second last members is Nur Alawiyah bin Timamak Yassin. She is using Wi-Fi with internet capacity of 300 MB with ping of 5 MS, download speed of 174 and upload speed of 53.02. She is staying in his home, in her home at uh, Kuala Terengganu. For our last member is Mama Alim bin Mama Arifin. He is using Wi-Fi with internet capacity of 52 MB. He got 11 MS ping and download speed of 23.69 and upload speed of 18.29. He is staying in hostel in Niza Campus Gombada. Now, Alawiya will continue presenting for table of packet. There is two versions of internet protocol here. The first one is IPv4 that refers to the fourth version of the internet protocol. IPv4 utilizes a 32-bit address. It is underpinning technology that allows us to connect our gadgets to the internet. When a device connects to the internet, it is given a numerical IP address. To transport data over the internet from one computer to another, a data packet equaling the post machine's IP addresses may be sent over the network. IPv6 stands for Internet Protocol version 6. IPv6 use a 128-bit addresses. IPv6 added extra capabilities as well as small IP addresses. IPv6 enables multitasking addressing, for example, which allows resource-intensive packet flows to, do, to be routed to numerous destinations at the same time, decreasing network capacity bandwidth. The protocols used in IPv6 are the same as the protocols in IPv4. The only thing that changed between the two versions is the addressing scan, DHCP to DHCPv6 and ICMP to ICMPv6. So everything TCP UDP related, including the port range from 0 to 65535, is unaffected. To those who doesn't have TCP on their IPv6, it is because their TCP protocol doesn't communicate with IPv6 server compared to IPv4. For examples, YouTube and Google use IPv6. Next, I will pass the detailed explanation for each protocol to our friend Anas. Thank you, Alawiyah. Now, I will explain the function of every type of protocol that being used by IPv6 and IPv4. The first one is TCP, stand for Transmission Control Protocol. It separates data into packets that can be shared over a network. These packets can then be sent by devices like switches and routers to the designated target. 
Second one is UDP, stands for User Datagram Protocol. Works in a similar way to TCP, sending a packet of data over the network. The key difference between the two is that TCP ensures that a connection is made between the application and server. But UDP does not check the readiness of the receiver host. UDP is connectionless and non-dedicated protocol. Third one is ICMP, stands for Internet Control Message Protocol, is primarily used for diagnostic purpose. Managed device on the network can, can use this protocol to send error message, providing information regarding network connectivity issue between devices. The fourth one is data. A protocol data unit or a PDU is a unit of information that is sent by a protocol at a particular OSI layer. For example, a switch is going to operate on the internet video. That protocol data unit is the most important thing so that the switch know where to forward the frame. And the last one is MDNS, stands for multicast. It's a protocol aimed at helping with name resolution in smaller networks. It employs a different strategy than DNS. Instead of asking a name server, all network participants are addressed directly. User can connect device in secret lens without any issue. Now I will move to the IPv4. Another protocol that being used by IPv4 which differentiate it with IPv6. The first one is IGMP, stand for Internet Group Management Protocol. IPv4 routers use IGMP to discover hosts that desire traffic from a certain multicast group, while IPv4 hosts use IGMP to notify IPv4 routers of existing multicast group listener. The second one is HTTP. Hypertext Transfer Protocol is an application layer protocol that allows the browser and server to communicate. Third one is DNS, translate domain names such as cisco.com into IP address. The DNS server store all the host name and assign them to the appropriate IP address. And the last one is ARP, address resolution protocol. Locate a physical address associated with an IPv4 address such as the MAC or link address. Now, I welcome my friend Alim to explain about coloring rules that being used by our team members. As you can see, the table is a data that have been collected from our team members. Now, I will explain the, the color represent for white packet. All colors have different packet. First of all is black. Black is represent packet with errors. The second one is green. Green represent hypertext transfer protocol traffic. The third one is grey. Grey represent TCP sync, FIN and ACK traffic. The fourth one is blue. Blue represent the user datagram protocol communication. Uh, the next one is purple. Purple is a transmission control protocol which is UDP. The second last is red. Red represent all packet that alert warning. Last but not least is yellow. Yellow represent window specific traffic including server message block which is SMB and net BIOS. Next, that's how we'll explain about graph of the collect data and analysis from team members. Thank you Alim. They have three graphs suitable to present the data that has been collected. The first data is a segment bar graph showing characteristic of each member internet connection. It contains internet capacity, ping, download speed and upload speed. Allah has the highest internet capacity of 300 Mbps and Anas has the least part. Amar has a higher download speed part and is followed by Allah, Suha, Iqbal and the least Anas and Alim. For the pink part, Allah has the least part compared to the other members. The second graph is a pie chart. This pie chart is a total of amount of color. The color that gets majority is blue, then purple is minor on this part. And the least other colors are yellow, black, green and blue. The last graph is bar graph that showing each color obtained by a member. We can see the Amar part, he has a higher blue color than other members because he opens the app the most in the in one hour besides that Allah have 
uh, the most purple that the other members. Iqbal has the highest black color and Suha has the least number of colors compared to Amma, Arnas, Iqbal, Alim and Alam because Suha only offers one app namely that Spotify. Next, I will pass to Amar to present his part. Okay, so for the last part, uh, to explain the reason why there are different why different members of the group got different types of packet being sent and received. So for the first reason is most of the packet in networks use TCP IP or transmission control protocol where each packet is then sent off to its destination by the best available route. Therefore, if uh, someone's place has the best available route, uh, therefore they will receive the highest mode of packet. Uh, the second reason is uh, this there might uh, route that be taken by all the other packet in the message or by none of the other packet in the message. And for the third reason is TCIP is responsible for breaking down breaking data down into small packets before they can be sent over a network. After that, they will assemble in the packet again when they arrive. So, and lastly is, computer cannot send large size of packet throughout internet because it will increase the probability of collision in the packet. And for the mathematical reasoning is, different member open different type of modes of uh, applications such as Google Chrome or YouTube uh, therefore, they will have different numbers of packets being sent and received uh, throughout the network for the whole one hour. So, that's all for our explanation and presentation today. Thank you.